Next question is, hey, Fritz, do you do any history taking with your hypnosis clients? The quick answer to that is no. <laughs> Here's why. We can get really, really um, murky as well when it comes to taking a full history. First of all, it's not necessary. But if you do end up doing it, it gets murky with the, the laws and rules of of the privacy systems um, in terms of asking for clients' medical diagnoses. This is something that you really want to be careful of and check your own state or provincial laws with regards to this uh, because it can get murky when you are someone who is asking what their past medical history is um, and then you're exchanging stuff online. There's a lot of rules in the healthcare um, provided privacy um, field uh, that could potentially be breached. And so you really want to think about that. <laughs> think about that first, right? And, um, you know, uh, in the hypnotherapy world, we are unregulated. And this is something that, you know, unless you have further training, if you do have a medical background, then you can do. Like I have a nursing um, backgrounds of over 15 years. And even then I would not touch that stuff. I have been in like rules and confidentiality stuff in like hospital and medical setting. That shit is murky. I don't even want to touch it. Right. So you really also want to first off, look into those rules. If you're even allowed to ask your clients that. So you, that's the first thing, the legality rules. And second, why, why would you take a history? <laughs> why would you take a history? Now, it is different. What I did was that I took, I had an intake form that is very much directed, directly asking them about their current problem. I didn't ask that much about the past. The only thing is that I focused on their present experience of the problem. Like, what are your symptoms? How is it affecting your daily life? What have you tried in the past to help you with this? And um, and also, like, where do they want to be? Like, very uh, basic stuff like that. Um, and obviously, talking about how, um, like, the, the in-betweens, what they want, what are their symptoms right now? What do they truly desire in their lives? Those are the type of things that I, or information that I would ask in the intake form. And so the history becomes irrelevant because first off, you can get into some murky shit there with the legal rules. Um, and second, when you're actually going inside your session, especially because I use ACH, Advanced Conversational Hypnosis, where what our focus on is our client's experience at the present moment. We don't even do any type of regression work at all unless the client spontaneously regresses. And so we don't look at the past at all. We look at the present experience of their problem so that they, they're, they, our clients, can understand where they're at. So a history is a complete waste of time. Why would you do it? Why would you have your clients go through that? That can also get you into some very murky laws um, and and stuff like that. So do you want to risk that, right? I I didn't. And I'm very well versed in, in the rules of, of, of healthcare in Ontario. But, but either way, it's it's one of these things where the most important thing is how can you help your client solve their problem now and what questions do you want to ask and that really has nothing to do with a complete history that's a waste of time focus on helping them resolve the problem that they came to you with today now and then those that is what's going to help you with your results not the past so I hope this helps. If you have any questions at all, let me know. So let's make a massive impact together, one conversation at a time.